spread over 230 acres of lush greenery and remarkable architecture. The University of Mumbai is a home to varied departments, libraries, research centers, laboratories, state-of-the-art gymnasium, grounds, hostels, and holds a legacy of 161 years. At the heart of the university is the Department of Applied Psychology and Counseling Center, established on the 26th of January, 1995. Our vision at the Department of Applied Psychology and Counseling Center is to function as professional and socially conscious psychologists and behavioral scientists who achieve excellence in knowledge generation, serve the society by making innovative contribution in the field of mental health, and actively participate in the documentation and process of social change. Our mission is to prepare human resource with capacity for knowledge creation with cutting-edge research of human behavior to initiate socially relevant action and evolve into compete professionals across context. With students and faculty from all over the country, the department is bustling with lively energy and an academic aura with a constant flow of knowledge and information. It offers an environment for growth and development. Along with abundant potential and aptitude, students are well-groomed in soft skills and comprehensive understanding of subject knowledge. The students of industrial psychology studied human psychology for seven years paired with an in-depth conceptual understanding of organizational behavior and development, human resource management, competency-based assessment, positive psychology at work, as well as change management. The course has exposed students to a wealth of experiences, various field visits, structured activities, workshops, coupled with extracurricular activities have been conducted throughout the course. They are now prepared to take on any challenge in the world of work. Here we have four different specializations like clinical psychology, industrial psychology, counseling psychology and social psychology. In industrial psychology, in addition to traditional syllabus of psychology like training, selection, development, placement, we also train our students, rather we sensitize our students to diversity of our workforce and we also try and uh, sensitize them towards social justice, uh, equity, theory of equity and how it can be practiced in Indian organization. It includes both the subject knowledge of the psychology and also the applied application of the skill which is required. Uh, subjects like research, statistics, test construction, experimentation which can be very useful to be worked out for. And also it includes the thorough knowledge of uh, subjects which is uh, of industrial and organizational psychology like organizational behavior, competency and uh, uh, competency based uh, human resource management. And change management and variety of these subjects. Uh, they get a hands on experience when they do the life project and the internship, and how this is used into the world of work in designing uh, the organizational problem and diagnosing them and giving intervention and solutions. So, most of the time, it is uh, uh, designed as per the needs of the other. And many of our students have also been heading the HR department, whether it is a pharma industry, whether it is a manufacturing industry, whether it is uh, information technology, whether it is consulting, uh, whether it is education sector, whether it is health sector, most and many of our students today are at the top level of uh, HR and they, many of them are heading the HR departments. Entire employee life cycle is somewhere uh, you can add value, uh, even before an employee life cycle starts. So right from the time you are perhaps even deciding which location that you want your office in. What's the industry that you're getting into? The searching behaviors, 
consumer behavior, right? Will an office or a location at this place really add value? So the entire life cycle from pre-hiring stages, from pre-conceptual designs of an organization to retention, hiring, developing, training, uh, exiting, creating uh, content analysis or exit interview analysis is is a real mine of data that you know get feedback to the organizations. So an industrial psychologist is not only um, understanding data, but is analyzing it from your human perspective, which they are already trained in. So I think that's the best differentiator. The edge that we have is that we have an ability to think about teams, we have an ability to think about processes in an organization, um, how you can align people towards a common goal, like bringing all these things together. And in so many ways, I think it's helped. We've been able to put in, you know, sound recruitment policies, we've been able to think of a lot of big picture things for the organization. So I think that would be an asset for sure. An organizational industrial psychologist brings to an organization more than any other employee would be the humanitarian aspect, uh, much more than a management student would get. And that's one thing you guys have an edge over management students. And also because we are people's people. An industrial psychologist has more human approach. They kind of consider the emotional parameters while dealing with the situation, be it your personal or your organizational level. And that kind of really helps you because ultimately you're dealing with another human at the end of the day. As an industrial psychologist, one, it makes us very adept at identifying employee satisfaction. It also helps us be very tuned into employee experience, into how employees could perhaps perform to, to their maximum potential. And I think all of this uh, could make us very tuned into being uh, advisors to both the leadership uh, as well as to help give guidance to people within the organization. So I think that's something that we can be on When you are in a corporate world, uh, within the HR space, you'll realize that there are a lot of concepts and theories that you so very well understand uh, much faster than your counterparts uh, just because you have studied the paper, you have studied psychology. Uh, I think the basis of the whole thing is that you understand yourself so much better. And when you understand yourself better, you understand others better. The whole empathy which is something that you know the others will also see that you are more empathetic. You understand uh, you know, uh, people, concepts, papers, whether it comes to you know uh, HR operations, policies or it comes to learning and development theories or it comes to uh, recruitment and psychometric tools or it comes to talent management wherein you have to do succession planning and so on you have the edge over the others. Human resource is the mother of all resources. We believe to make an organization successful, it is necessary to tap into the human side of the organization. India is transitioning into knowledge economy. Intellectual capital lies at the core of every organization, demanding an ever-increasing rise to adopt competency-based selection and assessment methods. As industrial organizational psychologists, we have explored and experienced the field of human behavior in organizations. Our enhanced understanding of human resource principles and policies will lead to an increased productivity, profitability and performance. The focus is on acquiring, assimilating, integrating and incorporating into behavior. Psychology is considered one of the top five professions of the millennium, others being genetic engineering, space technology, medicine and economy. Since people spend 70% of their lives at workplace, we strive to make their jobs more enriching, fulfilling and aim to motivate employees to enjoy their work. We help them tap into their potentials so that they become fully functioning individuals in all spheres of life and are also able to achieve stable work-life balance. Our department believes an idea of experiential learning along with having test designing and experiment as a part of our curriculum. We had an experience to conduct the test in our department's own laboratory. This department has given us practice oriented research experience. They say theory without practice is empty and practice without theory is lame. Industrial and organizational psychology helps you develop strategies that will build a better workplace. As I was saying, industrial and organizational psychologists help you with development of workplace, along with workplace climate issues and managing change. 
also hiring the right people and retaining talent developing legal ethical and fair practices and creating a diverse and qualified workforce development of performance management systems eliminating harassment and discrimination thus with an emphasis on and efforts towards the human capital of the organization the organization can reach to its excellence amongst the vortex of changes we've learned to grow and change with change hooka all of that uncertain complex ambiguous